Hello again, Ban Hammer Bartholomews. In this video, I wanted to talk about um, two hammers uh, and hammers in general as well. Um, I did make a video in a long time ago, but the quality wasn't too good, and I haven't done it on EDF5 yet, so I wanted to do that uh, really quickly here. Um, the main reason you're going to want to use two hammers is well, two reasons. Either you're too slow for the enemy, and you can't get away fast enough, so you need to have the damage reduction going, or just for fun, because two hammers is very fun. Um, in the previous game, um, there's more options, more opportunities to use two hammers because the, the main movement you had was dash canceling. And uh, it wasn't as fast as dash hopping in EDF5, so therefore you would, the enemies would be faster than you and be, it would be wise to use two hammers a lot of times. So these tactics will work also for EDF4 as well. So, but Anyway, let's get started as far as the different types of hammers. Uh, Fencer has option, op, different opportunities, so different different types of hammers available to him. Um, I would say the most common and the most uh, practical ones are the finest hammers, level 69, and the Vulcan hammers, uh, level 56, as well as the lower versions. Uh, funny enough, the lower versions of the Vulcan hammers are actually are actually a little bit better because they actually swing faster, and because they swing faster, you don't get pushed away. From the, from the enemy as easily. Like for example, a colonist or a cosmonaut shooting at you while you're swinging will push you back, but with a quicker swing, like a level 15, um, it's almost instant, then therefore you can stay near them a lot easier and not get pushed back. But anyway, so usually you're going to use one of those two, either the Finest or the Vulcan. Uh, the reason you would use the Finest is if you're use, dealing, dealing with a lot of small enemies and you don't need much damage, because these do about 2,000-ish damage per swing. Um, the benefit is these have a 135 meter range, so it kind of like does a tremor in front of you, 135 meters in front of you. Um, but it doesn't do much damage to like big targets such as colonists, cosmonauts, so forth. Whereas the Vulcan Hammer does a lot of damage, does 13,000 damage, um, but it's only 8 meter range, so it's more for large targets and up close. So it depends on the situation as far as what you would need. A lot of times you'll just take one of each. So you have a high damage as well as a finest, as well as a, uh, the small target hammer. But uh, there's also other hammers. There's the Vibro Roller. Um, I don't necessarily care for it as much. It, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It does more damage. It does 3,000, uh, about 3,500-ish, I think, maxed out. But it has 80 meter range, and it pulls you forward. Uh, the damage reduction is less, 75%, so that's that's kind of a, a negative towards it. And also it has like a heavy weapon sway, the camera does, so if you're turning around to hit the enemy, if you're not, if you don't stop like for half a second or so, or a second, then the camera will keep swaying and it'll, it'll turn you in directions you do not want to go, and as well as looking in directions you don't want to look. So you have to kind of get used to using two, two uh, vibro rollers. It's also like a scythe type uh, hammer, which is this thing right here. It's very low damage. Um, the full swing actually swings behind you, 67 meters. Um, it's only really good for greens. It's not terrible for greens, actually. I actually played that DLC mission with all the greens, or no, the campaign mission with all the greens. I think it's level 100. And I just stood still, my back to the enemy, and just swung these back to back, and I was actually surviving just fine on Inferno. So there's a use for them with greens, but not they're not really that great. However, there is a scythe that's in the DLC that's better. It does a lot of damage. It does uh, 724 times 6, so it actually does more than that because mine's not maxed out. And it actually, the, th the full swing actually pulls you forward and does like a tremor in front of you, six, six tremors in front of you, so pretty cool. It's actually a pretty decent weapon on the DLC version, at least. So let's go ahead and take one of the Finest and one of the Vulcan, and then take one of the uh, two of the Vibra Rollers here. Also, since Fencer has dashing items now in this game, it can be kind of useful as well. Um, for example, if you need healing items, um, you can take six dashes, or if you have more of the DLC, um, you can actually dash more than once in between each hammer swing and allow you to get to the healing items a little easier. But you have to be careful with that, of course, because if you're just dashing, you're not having that damage reduction. Um, that, that is one of the benefits of the Finest Hammer. If you have two Finest Hammers, it's a lot easier to traverse around to get the healing items because it pulls you forward and you don't get knocked around left and right like the Vulcan Hammers uh, as much. But uh, if you have one of each, it's still not bad to, tra to, to traverse around to get healing items. So let's go ahead and take a mission here with some enemies and 
talk about the uh, the two hammers. Um, I I claw the controller personally. I use my middle fingers on the two triggers and then my my pointer fingers on the the two bumpers. But it, it's not necessary. But it does. I think it's it's a little bit easier maybe. Um, the thing with this is you always want to be holding down the, the two triggers to charge up your hammers. So the only time you let go of your triggers is when you want to swing the hammer, but then you instantly hold the trigger again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of the right trigger, and then hold it again instantly, and then let go of the left trigger, hold it again instantly, so I'm always charging the other hammer that I'm not using at the time. So, and then you can dash in between. So I'll let go of the trigger, and then dash, let go of the trigger, the other one, dash, and then keep swinging, dash, swing, dash, is what I usually do. Um, the only time you wouldn't do that is if you have like a really uh, desperate situation where there's like a lot of enemies, uh, like, like whether it be tadpoles, uh, dive bobbing you at the time, you can you could just eliminate the dash and just swing the two hammers back to back, even if they're not fully charged, just to get that constant damage reduction, and, and then you can go back to swinging full after that. But usually I'll always dash once in between. So now as far as the dashing, I always like to dash in one direction. Uh, whether it be left or right. Um, I like to go in a circle, but I like to go only one direction. The reason I do that mainly is because the enemies always shoot your last known position. So by dashing one direction, you're always dashing away from the enemy's fire. And uh, like, because if I, if I would dash left once and then right once, then I would be dashing into the enemy's fire, which is not good. You always want to be kind of um, dashing away from the enemy's fire. I mean, of course you can switch it up, once in a while if it's a safe time, but I usually like to stay in one direction. And then also, something I'm always constantly keeping an eye out is for health. Like if I, if I uh, even if I don't need health at the time, I want to at least know where the big health is at so that I can always get to it as soon as possible when I do need it. Um, another thing that's very, very important is reloading. Whenever you reload your hammer, it's going to take time to reload it, of course. So therefore, you're not going to be charging the hammer in the background during that reload time, so that um, so you won't have you won't have the ability to fully charge it after after it reloads. So it's very important to do is after you see the, the hammer reloading and it's time to swing that hammer, just mash. You want to pretty much spam the trigger on that hammer so that it swings as soon as possible, so that you have that constant damage reduction going and then you can fully fully charge it up the next time. So like right now, my finest hammer is reloading, so I'm just going to mash the trigger and swing it as soon as I can, and then go back to another hammer, and then I can do full swing the following time. So as you can see, my Balkan hammer is about to reload here, so I'm, I'm going to swing my finest, and then as soon as the Balkan hammer is reloaded, I'm going to spam the trigger and swing it right away, so I have the constant damage reduction. Because if I was going to charge it up fully, it would take me an extra second to do so, and that one extra second could kill you, of course. Um, because, you know, a, a spider can you know, hit you for 6-7k up close, so it can be very dangerous. So now I have to, I have to spam both of them because they both were re reloading at the same time. It happened to be the worked out. One thing nice about the reload is, though, a reload box will appear on the screen, so you'll kind of know when it's reloading, so it's easy to, um, it's easy to notice when you reloaded, so you can go ahead and spam the trigger when it's, when it's time to, uh, like, I'm going to spam the trigger on the Vulcan now because it's reloaded. So that's something that's very important. It takes a little bit you getting used to, but uh, to me, at this point now, it's just a, such a habit to me that um, I, I notice it and I just uh, I'm ready for it. Usually, for the most part, unless of course I'm commentating or something. <laughs> Sometimes I'll miss it, but but yeah. So that's something very important. Um, also, um, you you can do like extra chart, extra dashes in between in between uh, swinging your hammers, but it's very dangerous. Like right now, I'm, it's kind of bad, so I'm just not going to dash at all in between my hammers until it gets a little bit safer. And then, of course, the nice thing about the Vulcan hammer is it does pull you forward so you can easily get to items. Because if I had the Vulcan hammer, two Vulcan hammers, I'd just be swinging around so much. I'd be like getting pushed around so much that it's kind of hard to get to healing items. So I don't, I don't really like two Vulcans, honestly. Um, too often at all. Um, in the previous game, there was there was nests that were on the ground, the holes that you'd have to kill. Um, there's not so much in this game. There's more. There's anchors in this game. So 
is not as valuable, but where like an EDF-4, two Vulcans was great for going to a nest and just swinging them back to back next to a nest. So that was something that I used a lot then, but not so much lately. Now let's try and get an opportunity to use the rollers to make dash away from these enemies. Like I said, the rollers are a little bit more difficult to use, a little bit more annoying. Let me uh, switch to them. Same idea, you want to charge them both in the background, and then you can just swing and pull through the enemies. The nice thing about these is, of course, you can get away from the enemy easier. Usually you don't need to dash in between these. But uh, the thing you'll notice is, like, when you want to turn around, is the uh, camera will get out of control sometimes, which is unfortunate. It makes it a little bit diff more difficult. But like I said, you can actually get away from the enemy a lot easier, so that's kind of nice. And you can almost, even with the reload with these rollers, you can almost actually not have to worry about spamming the trigger after the reload because it will actually be uh, charged up by then because it's a fast reload. Let's go ahead and test that again and see if we can do that easily. But it does a lot of damage. I mean, 3,000 damage. I mean, it's only a 1,000 more, to be fair, but... It might be a little easier to get away from enemies if you need to do that. Like, say, for example, you're fighting tadpoles or something. Yeah, you actually can keep going non-stop even after the reload. That is nice to know. I don't think I actually noticed that before. So that that's kind of helpful, but... I still think I'd rather have the 90% damage reduction with the finest hammers and, and be more in control. But uh, that's just me personally. Of course, you don't need to do circling, circling around the enemy with these hammers. Also, something to uh, to note is you don't need to actually let go of the hammer at the right time. Like as soon as it's fully charged red, you can just let go and, and hold the trigger again. And as soon as the animation's available for him to swing the hammer, he will do it. So that is kind of nice. You don't have, to have exact timing right on it. Yeah, these are these are uh, they're going pretty well here. I do like uh, the ability to get away from the enemies though with the rollers, because uh, whenever you want to switch weapons with your two hammers, it takes like a couple seconds before you actually have the control to actually switch weapons. So that that can be a little challenging with two hammers to uh, to um, switch weapons when you need to get away. Because you, of course, with this setup, you can still take a dash hop setup on your other on your other on your other set of weapons, and then still uh, be mobile. All right, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, the biggest thing is just the reload thing. Just make sure you make sure you swing those hammers as soon as possible after a reload, and then you go back to charging, so you have that constant damage reduction. Other than that. Um, it's pretty fun. It's definitely worth trying, even if you don't think you would like it. Like, I, I never been much of a melee type person. Like, in games, I usually like the range builds. I like the, you know, I don't like going in and just smashing things or using swords. Uh, but when I first used these ha two hammers, it was just amazingly fun. And I would definitely suggest at least trying it if you haven't tried it before, because it's, it's so thrilling to do it. And it may take a little time to get used to, but... Once you, it, didn't, it doesn't take too long to get used to it. Once you get used to it, it it's pretty simple. And you get used to just uh, swinging and, and dashing in between. And of course, don't use it on the hardest mission first. You know, start out slow, but it is so fun to do. And it makes you so tanky. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for hammers. Um, they're still good in this game, but like I said, not as useful. But uh, definitely still fun. Um, you can also use the scythe. Let me sh briefly show those really quickly. What's the best one? 54? Is that right? Um, yeah, looks like the 54 is the best one. That's unfortunate. At least for non-DLC. Let me show you briefly, really quickly with the green mission. It's kind of funny. Uh, let me actually, I have to go back and pick campaign. I was kind of surprised I was able to just uh, survive with the greens, honestly. Uh, let's pick main campaign here. I think it's mission 100. And I should still have my weapon. Yeah, 54. I still have the weapons equipped. 
Uh, it's mission 101 on offline mode. But like I said, I did, I did do this online, and it was fine. Because the green ants have such low health. So what I did was I just... put my back to the enemy, because when you charge these fully charge as he swings behind him, whereas if you do the yellow charge, it'll pull you forward. But unfortunately, they're very weak. Alright, and then you just turn away from the enemy so it swings behind you and just swing back and forth, or just constantly swing. As soon as they're charged, you don't even have to move, really. You do get knocked around, which kind of saves you sometimes when you get hit, so... But yeah, this actually works. I was really surprised, honestly. It's just a little hard to see sometimes about what you're hitting, but let's do one more phase because that's kind of fun. Bring it on. I ain't afraid. It looks like, looks like it kind of stuns them. Oops, I don't want to do that. I mean, they, only have, they didn't have a chance, really, which is kind of crazy. I was surprised that they don't have a chance to really hit you too much. As you can see, it, it works pretty well. Just make sure you're swinging. Oops, I almost, almost failed there. <laughs> so after you reload, after you reload, you have to... You can't do a full swing. Oh my goodness, I almost died right there. I'm trying to test it once you have once you reload the weapon if you need to dash after that. I think you do. I think you can't just continue swinging because the reload time is slow. Let me just get these down to zero and then see see what happens. Yeah, you can't you can't you have to do a, a mash. You have to mash the trigger as soon as it's available so you have constant damage reduction after the reload. Then you can go back to it. But yeah, that's. Pretty much all I wanted to cover with hammers. Once I said, once again, like I said, give it a try. It's very fun. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind. Ever. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing, as it does help, help out. Thanks.